subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. With purification of metals. Purification of metals industries are important industries. Without purification, jewelry as beautiful as these are almost impossible. Food canning would be meaningless without layer of pure tin. Not to mention the cutleries that we use. Try to imagine eating noodles using a fork with non-removable impurities that come together with it. Will your noodle looks delicious? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the process of purification of metals involving electrolysis in industries. Most metals occur in nature as minerals. And mineral deposits from which metals can be produced are called ores. Ores are mixtures of metal containing material and useless impurities. There are various methods of purification of metals. Electrolytic refining is one of the methods. Electrolysis process is applied in electrolytic refining method. Generally, metals like zinc, silver, copper, lead and aluminium are refined by this process. Let's take a look at how it is done in the lab. To do this, we need a strip of impure copper, a strip of pure copper and copper 2 sulfate solution as the electrolyte. Observe the setup and answer these questions. What is the name of the electrolyte used in the process? Which copper metal is made the anode of the cell? Which copper metal is made the cathode of the cell? Now that you have understood the basic setup to purify copper metal, let's observe what happened during the purification process. Click on the switch to begin. Let's recall what you have observed by answering questions. Now, let's analyze the purifying process. Observe the animation carefully and answer the following questions. As electric current passes through the cell, copper atoms from the anode lose electrons. And at the same time, equal number of copper ions gain electrons at the cathode. This will keep the concentration of the electrolyte solution constant. The impurities called sludge remain insoluble in the electrolyte. Now, complete the following statement by typing in the correct response. Press enter to check your answer.
anode sludge is valuable leftover. For example, the impurities from the copper anode include lead, zinc, arsenic and several precious metals including gold and silver. Any metal in the anode sludge which is below copper in the electrochemical series like gold and silver does not ionize. But the anode sludge will be collected and processed to recover the valuable metals. Whereas metals above copper in the electrochemical series like zinc will form ions at the anode and dissolve in the solution. But the zinc ion will not be selectively discharged at the cathode because its position is higher than copper 2 ion. At the end of this lesson, you have learned that purifying of metals is an application of electrolysis process. In the purification process, impure metal is the anode, pure metal is the cathode. The impurities collected at the bottom of anode is known as anode sludge. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.